Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Dahlia and today we're back on Frostbite, working on probably one of the most chaotic, messy, like weird builds I've done in a really long time. I love how it turned out in the end, so um but anyway, it was it was a messy road to get there, but I hope you guys liked today's video. If you do like the video, subscribe to the channel. And, and all that fun stuff. But here, here's where we're going to be decorating today. This very, very weird, messy little point um, in the top left corner of my map um, that I kind of left very precariously um, decorated from previous b builds. So yeah, um, I'm showing you guys the general layout of the beginning of this build and I speed it up quite a bit because I had about like an hour or so of footage of just me terraforming this area. I did not need an hour of me terraforming. You guys don't need to see an hour of me terraforming. And I like to think that in my last couple of videos, I've gotten a lot better at like making my videos a lot shorter for you guys. Um, cause realistically, do you guys want to see me, um, spend an hour building up cliffs and water terraforming a giant river? and placing a bunch of pathing down only to have to completely destroy it all and push it down like five tiles no you don't want to see that this build also took me like four days to complete because i kept getting frustrated and like rage quitting so you guys can already tell by the title of the video, you can see by the thumbnail what we're doing. Um, and I'm not the first person in the Animal Crossing community to make this kind of build, so I'm not going to take credit for it at all. There's been so many amazing creators that have made builds like this, and I'm just putting my own little spin on it. But essentially, we're making a perspective build where we're making a really fun highway Obviously, this is a city island, so making a highway just works. Um, and we're going to be making um, this giant body of water and uh, have there be boats uh, at the back. Boats, boats, boats. And basically, when you're, when you're walking along the highway, you're going to see the boats in the distance. And it's going to look like the boats are on the water. Um, floating in the water from like the perspective of where you're standing on the bridge but the thing is I kept screwing up the dimensions and I couldn't get I, I didn't have enough space for where I was putting the boats um, to where the the bridge was that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you so I had to push the bridge back further and I already had all the road terraforming um, or path placement done from previous builds that I had done, aka my last build. If you guys saw the last build where I made um, Kurt's um, construction zone, I did all this 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 um, path placement, and I'm like, it's perfect because I have all my plas my path placement down, so that by the time I do this video, everything from that end will be taken care of. No, no, I had to destroy everything and start over. And then it's it's not even the terraforming thing that was annoying, although it was annoying. It was more the pathing, because pathing takes a very long time to place down when you are using a road path that takes up your entire surface area of your map. So here I am just finishing the, the, the little river, thinking it looks good, but then but then I had to get rid of everything. I got rid of everything. So this is me now, like four days later, fixing my path. As you can see, I'm like redoing this entire path area and like where that little, little like individual tile was. This is where my road was supposed to originally end, but then I'd move it forward. I think I moved it down like four tiles because one, you could see the boats on the ground from the perspective shot, but also because I wanted another boat. So because of that, I had to redo everything. 
but it looks amazing in the end. So that was my, my what, like four minute ramble? Four minute ramble, give or take a minute or so. But yeah, that is what I did. And now I'm just going around and kind of completing and finishing up the path. This path looked good earlier. I actually think this looks better now. I'm really mad because there's only one tile of crosswalk on the right side of the road. But I'm okay with it because it's next to a construction zone, so it kind of looks like it's intentional. I'm totally fine with it. I think honestly at this point, this map and like the way that I've made certain areas and builds is so messy and weird that I kind of just have to go with it. So that's what I'm doing. As you guys can see, you can see the boats in the distance, um, and I kind of show the perspective shot as we're kind of going along. But I'm placing these safety railings down on either side of the bridge because it gives like the whole like bridge perspective, obviously. Safety railings on a bridge. It's revolutionary, I know. Laurels for spring. Groundbreaking. Um, but there's there's my little there's my little um, boats. Now you can see you can't see the 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 um, ground. But then I wanted to add one more boat because I felt like the two boats beside each other were like a little not enough. So I went and grabbed one more and I do keep the cliff on the right side, but the cliff that's on the left side, um, I get rid of that and I just extend the water and then I'm going to block off the back left corner of my map so you can't go there. So it's just going to look like the water kind of continues on from the ocean. It's fine. And then, because I wanted this to kind of look a little more like, you know, genuine, like realistic, I put some water on the other side of the, the, the river to like match. So it's like a giant, like basically land bridge, like a highway. And I think it actually turned out amazing. Like I'm actually extremely happy with the way that it turned out, but it just, I was so frustrated with how long it took me to get to this point. Because having to go back consistently and just add more water terraforming and continuously having to alter the cliffs. Like, you guys see how much time changes on my screen when it comes to, like, the movement of the sun? That's how long it takes me to figure out how to do this. Like, like I said, in real time, this took me, like, four days. Um, and hours upon hours in-game. And then getting items and, like, just do... It took me a long time. It took me a very long time. So you guys better absolutely adore this build. Everyone, if you're still watching right now, I want you to like the video. I want you to subscribe to the channel. Um, because, because I worked really hard. And I think, I think this is, this, this should be the build that inspires you to subscribe. And if you subscribe to my channel, you can watch my streams. Um, I do stream now. We were just streaming yesterday and villager hunting for this island. Because we're almost finished this island, but I still need two villagers. So we're streaming now. And, you know, it's, it's just a fun time overall around here. And we play other games on the channel. Animal Crossing is still my main form of content. But, you know, it's just fun. So I feel like you, you should join. If you like Utter Chaos and just very messy messy builds you'll love it here you'll love it here but anyway um i made that little that little tunnel um i didn't know how to mill it, make the tunnel considering it kind of like abruptly cuts off so i use multiple castle gates stacked behind each other and i actually think it looks really good I actually think it looks really good because it kind of looks as if the tunnel kind of like goes off and if you don't think about it too hard it could kind of be as if like the tunnel is going off onto like the water um yeah <laughs> okay i don't know does that make sense kind of like like ocean bridges they exist they're things right um and then i'm placing all my my um cars down typically i leave the cars till the end um, because obviously I have tons of cars on this island, but I felt like placing the cars down just so I can have like a general feel of like where everything's going and like how it's going to look. Um, and this island color scheme is very grayscale, so all my, my, um, cars are black, gray, and white. And then it's trash core. So the majority of the rest of the build is just me placing down trash items. So... Um, not very much left of the video in terms of decorating, but we can spend the next couple of minutes just chatting. So, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day. As I'm recording this, um, the voiceover, it is very late at night. 
because it took me way too long to finish editing this video. Um, but nonetheless, I'm doing very well. I am doing very well nonetheless. Um, I'm really, really excited for the last couple of builds we have to decorate on this island. Once we get my last two villagers, um, we're going to be making two more builds, including both of their houses. Um, I still also have to decorate two more buildings on this island, including my Nook's Cranny and or no, my, my Able Sisters and my campsite. My campsite is probably just going to be thrown randomly on a beach somewhere, um, but my Able Sisters, we're going to be decorating next to my Nook's Cranny, which I did leave an empty space for, like kind of like on the top right corner of where my character is right now, um, directly beside my Nook's because originally I was gonna have them in like separate areas of the map, but as I was like making this area, I figured, you know what, we could just put them side by side. It's fine, it's fine, it'll look cute, it'll look cute. So you will notice like some empty spaces like at the top of the map of the area and then at the bottom, because at the top, that's where we're gonna be decorating Able Sisters. Um, I'll probably do that on stream to be honest. Um, so probably stay tuned for that. But then when it comes to decorating my, um, my last two villagers homes and then like one or two other areas, we'll probably be doing those in video style. My goal is to have this island finished by mid-May. So in the next like two weeks, which I think with this build and considering how big it is, highly, highly possible. So I'm extremely excited for that. Um, and then the area we're going to be decorating is on like the bottom left corner. There's like kind of like a, like a little like empty spot, um, where like the bottom part of like the river is. I'm going to be making a cliff and then going up to my third level. Did not feel like doing that today. By the end of this, this whole decorating thing, if I even had to open my designer app and to terraform one cliff, I was going to scream. I had rage quit so many times. This is why I don't like water terraforming. I don't like doing perspective shots and having to plan things out because when I have to plan things out, my plans never work. That is the sad part. Like, it executes very well, but I screw up so many times that it takes way too long for the execution of these things to be executed. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Um, back to the actual build at hand, um, like I said, trash core items everywhere. I wanted this to be a very trashy highway, so I have various forms of trashy items, mainly trash bags, cardboard items, decorative bottles, the basic things I've been decorating with on this entire island thus far that you guys have seen time and time again, and going around and replacing some of my path codes with some of the sideway bumps, um, cardboard boxes, other fun things like that. And then I will be going back and placing some fencing at the very end of the video up along the corners of the water, because obviously I want this to look a little realistic. Like, here I am, I'm placing them right now. Because I want this to look a little realistic, I say this in quotation marks. Um, obviously, you can't just have water out like this. Someone could fall off the cliff into the water. And because um, I want to make sure my villagers are safe, um, I'm going to put the fences for their, for their safety. And where I place those fences at the top, that is where my Able Sisters is going to go. Tons of space there. I'm going to make it really cute as cute as I can with it being a trash build, but I'm excited for it. I think it's going to look really, really cute. Um, but essentially we're basically finished the build. I'm going around and planting, I do plant some trees too, a little off camera. Um, but I'm just placing a couple of my dropped items and a couple of more like random furniture items and just like the scattered papers, my toy cockroaches, you know, the basic things I've been decorating with. Um, on this island thus far, but despite the utter chaos of this build, I love how it turned out. I wanted to make a perspective boat build on an island for like a year. And I've done like my tropical city island that had like the perspective with the fake beaches, but to use like actual water and then have the boats be like in the distance like that, I've wanted to make it for so long so long and the fact that this island kind of felt like the perfect the perfect time to do it i don't know i'm kind of obsessed with it so i quickly time traveled 
to later on in the evening. It's very overcasted and snowy. You know, it's, it's very much of a vibe. It's very much of a vibe. Um, but anyway, really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And without further ado, let's do our final walkthrough. Alright, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Do you think it was worth like the endless hours of like stress? Because I think it I think it was. I loved it. I love how it turned out. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!